Hi, everybody. I'm James Sabalski for EA Sports. Always a special night being back here in Montreal. The banners, the magic, the ghosts, it's all here. Both teams look ready to go, and it's time to drop the puck. The Leafs win the draw, and they'll start on the attack. Feeds the puck to Tanner. Slides it on over to Nylander. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Slides the puck down low. Dishes it off. A spirited battle along the boards for the puck. Puck gets loose. We'll get some flow again here. Oh, spectacular stop there. Quick feed to Riley. They score! And just like that, it's a 1-0 hockey game. Well, they started like a freight train just steamrolling their opponent, James. I mean, they really dictated right from the onset of this game. That tells me one thing. They were prepared coming in. When we have a look at it, James, it looks like it's redirected, and that's just beautiful timing and get the hands away from the body, be able to get it to go the opposite direction of the goaltender. The Leafs are on the board quickly in this one, and a nice start here, the way that they've been moving the puck around. Well, a really great start for them, James. It's all about getting everyone into the game, establishing some pressure, and finding a way to get on the board. They do just that. Now they've established a 1-0 lead. It's about holding it and pushing for more now. Slides it over to Holper. Here's a race for the loose puck. Great heads-up play to poke it away in the offensive end. And that's a smart heads-up play by Suzuki. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. And he'll likely feel that one in the morning. Slides the puck across. There's a breakaway! Stopped on the breakaway! What a save he made there! Well, I love how he challenged the shooter on this, James. He didn't sit back. Breakaway! What a save on the play! Uh, and I like the premise of this team trying to outweigh the goaltender. Real patient, real composed. But guess what? So is the goalie who makes the save. He knew exactly what he was doing with that hit this early in the game. He's trying to send a message and dictate the pace. Ref's arms in the air. We got a penalty coming up. There's the whistle, and here's the call. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back in this game, and now you find yourself shorthanded. opportunity to look at the power play unit set to go to work well first power play of the game james you want to start with possession and look to get shots to the net it is the tone setter the leafs win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone stop by the goaltender getting a piece of that one huge play in his own end to come up with the puck from the point looks to make something happen moves it to matthews and he slides it quickly to nines possession and he takes the pass the Leafs slide the puck near the point gives them nothing in front Dvorak's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff The frozen biscuits drop, and we are back underway here. Nice job to escape the zone. The Leafs looking against the half wall. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. And he takes the feed. Passes it over, and he rings the post. What a shot, but it goes off the inside of the post. Still some precious time left on this power play as they get set to drop the puck. Savard's penalty is almost expired. The Leafs fail to capitalize on the power play. They score! And that's back-to-back -back snipes! Well, it feels like there's a wave of a momentum, and it has certainly changed here. You can get the opportunity, but you have to execute. That's two in a row. 
Well, James, this is a great play all the way around. A perfect pass to a perfectly executed shot as he sets up and waits for it right in his wheelhouse. Just lets the one-timer rip. The Leafs are firing on all cylinders so far here in period number one, Cheryl. They've been playing with a lot of energy, and they've been aggressive, and it's their habits. You can tell that they worked on them, and they talked about them pregame, and they have certainly executed in this first period. Here's a short pass to Domi. McMahon's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, that's a huge stop by Montembeau. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. is in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the crease, square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Past the midway mark in this period. The Leafs have all the momentum right now, leading by two. Montreal's got it in their own zone. Moves it on over to Riley. Slides it across to Kemp. Toronto's on the attack. Fires it! There's a save! Montembeau's made a great save, and even better is the redirect to the corner. Takes the pass. Uses the force on that hit. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Moves it quickly over to Riley. Along the half wall with the puck. Takes it off, but he's still got the puck. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Makes the save. Quick pass to Slavkovsky. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. Matthews works the puck in his own zone. Gaining momentum up along the side. From off the wall and onto a stick. Scores! Well, I guess they weren't saved by the bell there. Uh, how's that for momentum? In the last seconds of the frame, you find a way to put it in, and that's going to create a ton of momentum. So now... Heading into the next period, you want to garner that momentum and carry it forward. Well, James, we have to have another look at this goal. I mean, this is just a hard-working effort goal where you out-battle and out-will your opponent. Why? You're stumbling, and while you're stumbling, your eye's still on the puck. You know exactly where you need to move it before you go down and you execute. And as a result, it's in the back of the net. Toronto's brought their A game here to the rink tonight. They lead it comfortably as we near the end of the first. in the books. Let's grab a breather and we'll come back with period number two in moments. And the official seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. Here we go. Lots of time left in this one, but certainly a lopsided affair to this point. Well, Cheryl, how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes? Montreal has been running around and chasing the game, look very disorganized out there, not aggressive, and giving their opponent way too much time with the puck. And that slides right out to center ice. Montreal's got a hold of it along the wall. Can't get a hold of that pass. Grabs it in his own end. Quick feed to Ekman Larson. Makes his presence known on the ice. Nice, looks around. Riley's back on the ice, exactly where the coach wants him. He's been the go-to guy in this game, multiple points so far. Slides the puck across to Slavkovsky. Great poke check on the reach. Toronto's got it in their own zone. A little back and forth. Moves it to McMahon. Montreal's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Tried to get 2Q with it and loses possession. Suzuki's tried a great move there. We all know what great hands he is in tight, trying to create some space, but it bobbles off his stick and he lost possession. Toronto's had the better scoring opportunities and lots of them, which is why they lead in a big way here in the second. The Canadians win it. The coach and team reminding each other that this is a critical face-off. Anytime you've got your opponent on their heels after a nice... And that's four in a row, and they are rolling tonight. Well, the whole bench is rolling. Why? Because they're all getting goals and apples. Patting the stats tonight. You can feel the energy as they're all standing up. They've gotten four in a row.
Well, this is a real tough play for a goaltender to get a read on, James. You're in that inner slot area. The puck's on the backhand, fighting for position and getting it off quickly. That's a tough one to read and a reason why it goes to the back of the net. Toronto's got to be pleased with the effort they've had tonight. I mean, they just continue to pile up the goals. Well, you want to buy in, and the coach will be impressed by this. You buy in defensively, and it creates offense because you're quick to get pucks and go north, and this is exactly how you take care of your own zone. How about the majority of shots in the offensive zone as well? 200-foot game. It's been complete today so far, James. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Toronto's latest goal has now given them a four-goal lead. Montreal's won the face-off deep in their own end. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Take it along the wall by McKay. Oh, what a collision there. Well, that's just an absolutely huge hit, James. And there's going to be a stoppage in play here because I think that pane of glass is broken. The Leafs have been the better team, leading in the shot department, and they lead it on the scoreboard. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Passes it over to Nylander. Matthews setting up against the wall. Denies him! Montembeau has been off his game tonight, really looking uncomfortable between the pipes, and he needs to settle in and find a way to create some momentum for his team. But on the other side of the puck, I mean, the Floyds have to contribute offensively, and they can only do that if there's a sense of urgency to their game. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes sideways. Well, he's showing off his skill set, trying to make a silky move around the defender, but he gets denied. Montreal's got the puck. Can't hang on to the puck after taking a knock. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. From the point, they take control of it. Oh, Smart heads up play to push that one away. Slides the puck over to Reeves. Montreal's looking to break out of their own end. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. He takes the puck along the boards. Tries to feed it across. Up along the wing. Great pass from off the right side. Here's a chance! Gets in front of the shot. Jomi's got the puck along the wing. Oh, great little takeaway at center. Poked away in the neutral zone. Nice feed at center, moves up ahead now. Takes the feed at the point. Oh, and the buzzer, a big save! And there's the horn, two down, one more to go. Both teams will get a chance to uh, catch their breath and get ready for a big third period next. Hey fans, great tickets are still available to our next home game. Please visit the box office and get them while they last. Both teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. Curious to see if there was any message sent in the room in that second intermission because it has been a blowout thus far. I wonder if they might even just run the clock. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? Toronto's 20 minutes away from closing out a dominant performance, James. They've been defensively responsible. They've provided a lot of offense when they've gotten into the offensive zone. Now it's about seeing the finish line and closing it out properly. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Passes the puck over to Matheson. Takes the feed and center for the right wing. Riley's been leap. Well, you can't do that. You're going to find your way marching over to the box. Keeps possession on the play. Here's a shot. The noise, he got all of it. Penalty coming up here. Well, the body language on the bench says it all, James. They're all looking up at the time on the clock to see if it'll continue to run because they got to kill off this penalty when they're down a bunch of goals. Toronto's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it and look for different adjustments to be made. Montreal's got the puck shorthanded. Armia's taking it from his own end. Handles the pass. And now he tries to get it across to Shekai. Who's the puck? 
Corrado's in now. Back at the point, they set it up. Montreal's got possession while undermanned. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Nylander. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Moves it around along the half wall. He's off! Oh, what a save on the one-timer! He was dialed in there! Dvorak side still short-handed here as they slide in for the face-off. And they win the draw here in their own end. Line A's picking up steam. Moves it over to Savard. Yeah, they're handedly winning in this one, James, and they didn't execute on the power play, but there's a bunch of athletes on that team that want that job, and it's about executing to the best of their ability. You know they wanted it. Picked up along the boards by Matthews. Montreal's got possession of the puck. The Habs will play it from the defensive zone. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Here's a short pass to Riley. And he loses control here. And now he passes up to Tavares. Here they come on the rush. Puck sent over to Line. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Sends the pass over. They gain the offensive zone from the middle. Puts it on oh, but also the vocalness. I mean, they're creating all over the ice, and it's been real fun to watch. Jomi's not going to like the call, but the officials see tripping on the play. Here's a first look at the power play. First power play opportunity for this team. It's going to start in the face-off circle, getting possession with the win, and then looking to set up. Steps in front of the shot. Oh, a little Katberger-like play with the stick. Tonight on the play, whoa! Oh, you don't practice that one in goalie Sheston's James. You just have to have fight and compete to get to that puck. He has all of it. He makes the save. He reads this play perfectly, James. He gets tight to the shooter. There's no room to put it by him. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. And he handles the cross ice pass. What a hit on the play! Oh, my! Yeah, you clearly knew what he was doing here. He got all of them, tags them, knowing full well that he's going to disengage that puck. <laughs> Love it. Anderson's moving the puck through his own zone. Dvorak's moving it ahead. Moves it quickly over to Anderson. Domi's almost out of the box. Solid short-handed performance there as both teams are now back to even strength. Body language says it all, James. Have a look at the unit here. Every single one of them deflated. They know that they needed to score. And this is the expectation of the power play. And they go back to the bench with their heads facing their skates. Big time stop there. I absolutely love this, hey, James. I mean, the shooter's at a point-blank range right in that low slot. And it's just taken away. Brian Larceny. Slides it up to Slavkowski. Along the right side into the offensive zone. Oh, drills him. Ah, the coach will be happy with the no-quit attitude with that late deliverance of a hit. But listen, they're down by a bunch of goals. It's a little too late. Grabbed along the board by Wilbur. Montreal's gained possession. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Shot! Score!
Man, he's got such amazing hands here, James, and he's known for it, but he's almost looking at their feet, knowing which way their toes are turning, and he's going the other way. Just beautiful play here to be able to create this goal. Toronto said it, yet another one here to the total tonight. What a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. The Leafs get a hold of the puck on the draw. Hooked away at center by Slavkovsky. The Leafs move the puck in the defensive zone. Oh, and they can't keep the puck in the zone. They'll be forced to tag up.